Hey, how you doing? This is Martone, owner and trainer of Fuller Fitness. And this video is another series, a video in the series of doing workouts at home and using bands. So, with this one, this one is uh, bicep curls, using bands, and depending on the bands that you are, you want to use and able to use and I am going to turn up and use two bands with the bicep curls that I'm doing or at least try to I did it before so hopefully I can do it again and I have two bands usually there are they are uh, differentiated by color and, and uh, amount of resistance for some reason um, the company had one band the first one, which was 19 pounds. Okay, and then all of a sudden, which I'm very thankful for, they came out with another one. It's black, but obviously a different level of resistance. Now, the newer one, hopefully you can see that, is 40 pounds, thank goodness, for those of us that are strong enough to do certain things with it. Now, 40 and 19 before you do anything with it. Then, depending on how strong you are, being able to do certain things with it, and then depending on how tall you are, is going to make it that much more challenging. So again, the two bands are 40 pounds before you do anything with it, 19 pounds before doing anything with it, and I'm using both, or at least going to try to. I did it before. Hopefully, I can do it again this time. Um, so not only do you have a a 40 pound band and a 19 pound band but then if you're tall um, let's say 5 foot 10 using the two bands that I'm using even if you're strong enough to do it or strong because of the fact that the equipment that I'm using is different you might not be able to curl a 40 pound band and a 19 pound band you might have to do just 40 or just 19 that doesn't mean you're not strong it's just different which is again why I appreciate bands so much because it's so different depending on who it is that's using it so it doesn't mean you're not strong maybe you're not and if you're not that just makes it to where you uh, know to where to go to progress and whether or not you use other bands now and then progress to another band. Um, because the currently the strongest band that the company that I get banned from is 40. Before the thickest and most challenging band they had was 30 pounds of resistance. Uh, depending on what you are doing and how tall you are, how strong you are currently, how strong you ended up being. Um, so again the goal is this is using bands at home unless you're outside or something or wherever you might a hotel um hotel hotel room hotel gym but again not at the gym unless you decide to take it at the gym which people are doing i've done it before too so again using bands i am uh, cl somewhere close to five nine i'm not sure if i'm necessarily five nine but i think i'm decently close to it um, maybe just under it by some uh, however many centimeters. So again, with bands or anything, but specifically with bands, is to try to stand up straight. Hopefully no arching while doing it. That's another reason I love bands so much because you can't cheat with using bands. So again, the challenge of it and then the fact that I noticed that people can't cheat regardless of how much they try with bands compared to when you're using dumbbells or using barbells. Uh, I prefer dumbbells. So with bands, again, I'm doing curls. So if it gets to a point where I can't do it, regardless of how much I try to arch and use my legs and all this extra stuff that people do with dumbbells and barbells, with bands, you can't do it. That's one of the reasons I already like them. I don't think I necessarily love them yet. But then when I realized that you can't really cheat with them, got me in the heart. Good stuff. So again, this is bicep curls. I'm using two bands, and for those who care about doing drop sets, I can care less about it. For those who do uh, care about doing drop sets, 
again, I have two bands, so for some reason I can't do it, and I can, if I can't do the five or six reps that I want to do, and I chose to do a drop set, then I can take the 19 pound band off and just do 40. I'm gonna be upset if I have to do that, but I don't care about doing that, and hopefully I don't have to this time, especially on video. So I'm gonna try to do six reps if I can, again, with a 40 pound band and a 19 pound band with hopefully six awesome reps. And since it's strength training, the speed is not the goal. At least not for me. That's one. There's three. With high hopes, this doesn't hurt your shoulder, your neck, your back, or anything while doing it. Three more to go, hopefully. Make sure you're breathing. I think that's four. So again, taking your time, um, especially for me, I alternate. Um, I have tried it, uh, depending on the amount of weight that you're curling, um, to do two and do two. But again, this is so much resistance trying to do two and two. Who knows if I would have been able to do six. So there's so many different ways to make the exercise and the workout that you're doing um work for you um again i try to go everybody should try to go as heavy as they can with whatever the rep range that they're trying to get to in my opinion <laughs> for the sake of toning and for the sake of increase or for the sake of toning doing it right not getting hurt and hopefully depending on what you're using not hurting anybody else because with bands if you you stretch them and you let it go, just like a rubber band. You stretch it and you let it go, hit your foot, hit somebody else behind you. There's so many different things that can happen if you're not doing anything correctly, specifically this. Um, so again, it's just making sure, you know, you're not moving your whole arm. The only thing you should be doing with this, flexing your elbow, extending your elbow, flexing your elbow, not that. Extending your elbow, flexing your elbow, extending your elbow for whatever number of sets and reps that you are trying to do. And since that felt so good, I'm going to go ahead and do another set for myself. And why not do it for, for you guys as well? Again, so you can see it. Um, I'm tempted to turn to the side, but I don't know if that matters all that much. But... All right, so again, the goal is six reps, six good reps. And again, it shouldn't be you moving your arm like that. It's just flexing and extending your elbow, nothing else. Um, at least that's what I believe. Last set here. With high hopes I can do six again. And for some reason I'm not able to. I, I, I did it before, so I'm happy with that and see what I can progress to for my next workout set.
Yes, indeed. So, again, uh, the goal is to... I was always curious on why um, there were not, at least from what I wasn't seeing, why there weren't more people using bands, whether at the gym, at home, whatever. Um, and also, not necessarily seeing videos with people utilizing bands. So, um, again, doing my part to let it be known that one, it's not about popularity. So for me, um, especially if any of you have been following my page, my channel, my videos, my Facebook, my Instagram, anybody who knows me from when I was in Rochester, anybody who knows me now, um, I'm kind of strong and able to do certain things. Um, so again, in order for me to be able to achieve what I want to achieve for it to not be about popularity and for whatever equipment that I'm using to be to work so I just wanted it be known for not only for me but anybody who watches this video and any of the videos on my channel because I've done other stuff with bands on my channel as well but I hope you see that and watch it and appreciate that the other ones as well as this one um is to know like i said that was 40 a 40 pound band and a 19 pound band so that's starting off with 59 pounds before doing anything then once you actually curl it yeah again you're starting with 59 pounds but by the time you get up here with bands it's gonna feel like 75 pounds if not heavier uh, especially for somebody that's taller than me. So for me to be the height, you know, for me to be almost 5'9 and being able to do that, and I can do that with dumbbells actually, more than that with dumbbells actually. But with bands, because of whatever your current strength is and your current height is, by the time you get up here, depending on what your height is, that was 59 pounds, but by the time you get up here, it might feel like 80, and it's just a... a utilizing and appreciating that difference so that way if you want to go back to weights now you have that much more going for you at least in my opinion to hopefully do better be at least a little bit stronger if not a lot stronger especially if you spend a certain amount of time here letting your body get uh, get a feel for that then all of a sudden go back to um dumbbells at least that's what I care about, dumbbells. I don't really care about barbells unless I'm squatting, but even then I don't care about that much about barbells. And then you go back to uh, the dumbbells or whatever weights you're doing at the gym or at home, like I'm at home right now. And all of a sudden you feel so much better um, from one, resting up your bones from the dumbbells, barbells, whatever you might be using. Um, and basically recovering but still being able to do strength training just doing it different so it's not necessarily better just different and i am going to go back to dumbbells i don't know if it's going to be next week or the week after but right now it's bands and i just wanted to do my part to make sure people that watch this video uh whenever anybody watches it that you can get swole for those who care about doing that um get strong for those who care about doing that and be able to do so much stuff without it taking a lot of time without you spending a lot of money and without you using a lot of space to um you know uh having to go to this station for uh dumbbell curls go to this station for preacher curls um go to this station for hammer curls go to this station for um, pull-ups to where you're uh, utilizing your bicep compared to instead, instead of uh, uh, dedicating to the uh, your to just your back but actually getting your bicep um, so again and, and when you're working out at home and using certain equipment you should be able to do more in less time which is what my workout programs have been about so uh, on that note, if you are interested in um, 
online workouts other than the little bit uh, of information you get here to where you'll get more workout in and hopefully less talking. Um, I will, the link will be at the bottom of the video where you can go in and um, figure out whether or not you're going to do hybrid workouts to where you can do live a certain number of um, live online workouts to where we can see and hear each other and I can help you as best as I can there because we can see and hear each other or you do online workouts to where you do follow along workouts um, to where we won't see and hear each other but you'll see videos of me showing you telling you how, telling you how to do it showing you how to do it um, and you can complete the workouts anytime day or night regardless of what time it is and then you can message me with any questions, comments, or concerns. So for anybody interested in that, the link will be at the bottom of the video. This is Marton, owner and trainer of Fuller Fitness. Take care.